Hey guys, it's Pastor Sam, and today we're gonna to be doing a science experiment where we're gonna to try to create a rainbow of color inside this straw. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was little, I used to play with my straws. I would take my soda and I would dip my straw in it and cap the top, and when I pulled it out, I loved seeing how the soda would stay inside. But did you ever try doing that to two different sodas and to see what happens? Let's go ahead and try it out. We'll dip it first here in the yellow, and then we'll dunk it here in the orange. And what do you think will happen? A, do you think that the colors will stack on top of each other? B, do you think that the colors will mix up? Or C, do you think it's gonna explode? Let's go ahead and try it out. As you can see, we can see a little bit of the yellow at the top and a little bit of the, of the orange, but we're not really able to see the two colors distinctly. And what we wanna do today in this science experiment is see if we can stack not one, not two, but four different colors on top of each other and see if we'll be able to see them all in this straw. So in order to try this experiment, you only need a few really simple items. You need some food coloring, some sugar, some hot water, and then some cups to put all of this in plus a straw. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're only going to fill the first cup with water. We're not gonna add any sugar to this cup. So once you have warm water in all of the containers, the next thing you're gonna do is add one tablespoon of sugar to the first cup two tablespoons of sugar to the second cup, and three tablespoons of sugar to the very last cup. Once your sugar has completely dissolved in all of the cups, then you're gonna to wanna to add a few drops of food coloring to each cup. Once you've added your food coloring to the different cups, it's going to look something like this. And I love to see the color swirling around in there as it mixes with our sugar and water solution. So once all your solutions are ready, take your straw and practice that capping and uncapping motion that's gonna help you move the solutions through the different cups. Are you ready? Let's try it out. So we'll first put it into the red cup and then move it over to the yellow cup, dip it a little bit deeper and quickly release our thumbs. And look what happens here. The colors are not only jumping up the, the straw, but they're actually separating until you can see a rainbow. You can see here the blue at the bottom, the green, the yellow, and the red. But why does this happen? Why is it that when we use food coloring in two different water solutions with no sugar, the solutions mix together to form a color, but here they're actually separating into different colors, a sugar rainbow inside of a straw. It's because of a word that we've talked about before called density. Density basically measures how much stuff is in each of these cups. For example, if the green cotton balls represent water and these orange ones represent sugar, then there would be no sugar in the first cup, one in the next one, two in the one with the green because we put two tablespoons of sugar in this one, and then three in the blue. So if density measures how much stuff is in each of these cups, which one is the most dense? Well, the answer is the blue one. So the blue one is going to be heavier than any of the other liquids, and the red cup will have the lightest solution. So if we took some red solution into the straw, and put it into the yellow, the red would stack on top of the yellow because the red is a lot lighter than the yellow. When we add in the green, the red, the yellow, and the green would stack up this way because the heaviest would be in the bottom. And when we add in the blue, since the blue is the most dense, it would be on the very bottom with the yellow, the red, and the green on top of it because of the different density. The density helps the different colors separate out into this sugar rainbow. One reason that I love this density experiment is not only because the colors are so great, but because we can see this in nature too. For example, if we were at the lake, well, let's just go to the lake right now. 
So we're here at Lake Gregory, and the reason why we're here is because lakes are one of the places in nature where we can see the stratification or separation of layers by density. Lakes have three main layers. They have the epilimnion, the metalimnion, and the hypolimnion, each of which get increasingly dense as it gets lower because the lower you get in a lake, the colder it is and the denser the water is. So each of these three different layers are different in density and that's why they're separate in the lake. If we could cut it in half and separate it, we would be able to see three different layers by density just like in our rainbow sugar column. So the reason why I think this experiment is so cool is because it reminds me of a verse in Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. And it says, For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you and asking God to fill you with the knowledge of His will through all spiritual wisdom and understanding. What that means is that as we learn about Jesus, we start with a little bit of knowledge about Him, understanding, and a little bit of spiritual wisdom. But if we will ask God every day to fill us more and more with God, we will become like these cups which have increasing amounts of sugar in it. But instead of having increasing amount of sugar in us, we will have increasing amounts of wisdom and knowledge and experience with God. So let's not settle with having a little bit of God and being okay with that, but let's ask Him every day to fill us more and more and more with His knowledge and His wisdom and His Spirit. And one day as we look back in our lives, we'll see this beautiful rainbow, not just of color, but of experiences that we have lived with God as we have continued to increase in knowledge and wisdom of God.